A somewhat disappointing 7 and 5 regular season left the Cyclones in the Cheez-It Bowl, but the opponent, Clemson, was the latest in a growing list of name brand Iowa State Bowl opponents. So there's definitely something to gain from a win in this game. Let's go to Orlando. Fireworks popping off. 39,000 in attendance for Cyclones and Tigers. Clemson ranked 19th perennial playoff contender. Iowa State trying to beat one of the biggest names in college football. Tigers go on an eight minute drive to start the game, but Will McDonald with the third down stop that keeps it to just three points. Clemson kicks the field goal, three nothing after one. Second quarter, Cyclone offense gets going. Brock Purdy gonna load it up for Xavier Hutchinson and Hutchinson hauls it in, diving grab with a broken thumb, a 34 yard gain. It leads to a field goal from Andrew Mevis. Clemson with a 6-3 lead at the half. Third quarter, we finally find the end zone, but it's Will Shipley for Clemson. A 12-yard touchdown, Tigers take a 13-3 lead. Cyclones try to counter, Purdy's pass gonna be tipped. Purdy tried to bat it away, but it went right to Clemson's Mario Goodrich. There he is. Goodrich goes the other way for a pick six. Bad play by Purdy and it's 20-3. Tigers trying to add on DJ Uyagalele's passes tipped into itself and picked off by Jake Hummel. The Dowling alum with a big play. The Cyclones get a field goal out of it. So it's 20 to six after three to the fourth. It's Purdy to Charlie Kohler, Mr. Reliable. We have a game 20 to 13. Iowa State gets the ball back, final minute, trying to tie it, fourth down, Purdy takes off actually gets to the first down marker, but then fumbles and recovers behind the line to gain. That's a turnover on downs. And that's it. Heartbreak for the Cyclones. It's a 20 to 13 final and the final chapter for a great senior class. Here's Keith Murphy. The big bowl of Cheez-Its goes to Clemson. The Cyclones fought hard, but just made too many mistakes to beat a talented Tigers team. You know, I know we didn't make a couple plays to finish what we what we wanted to do off, but the, how our kids played, you know, we, we were without some key football players and the guts of our kids to continue to fight even down 20 to three and have a chance to go in in the last drive. I think it says everything about what our team and what this program's about. You know, it ended like that, just my college career and everything. To go out like that sucks, um, not gonna lie, but I could say I gave everything I got to this program, to this team, um, to Ames, and um, you know no one could take that away from me. So I'm sorry to the Cyclone Nation of how it ended and everything, but um, I, I did prepare and did everything I could. Not the bowl result or season any of the Cyclones wanted. Still, the seniors exit with more wins than any class in Iowa State history. You know we earned our way here, uh, and that's what I, that's what I told those guys in there. And I'm proud of y'all and be proud to wear the Iowa State logo um, because for a while, some people weren't that proud to wear the logo. And we've put ourselves in these situations and we're going to be here for a long time. It's inspired the future of our football program. And there's a lot of you guys in here that understand what the, what the past of Iowa State football really stood for. And Greg's right. Like, there's a lot of people when I got here that were embarrassed to wear an Iowa State shirt, an Iowa State hat around. And now it's a sense of pride. Now we're coming. The Cyclones started the season ranked number seven and finished with six losses. Bowl games are now the norm, but the Cyclones realize the burden of expectations. At Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Keith Murphy, WHO 13 Sports.